Here we are, folks. Two bears, one movie. We're discussing the movie Smile. <laughs> Parker Finn's uh, smile has really taken the horror uh, genre by storm. Uh, written and directed by Parker Finn, should I say, and is starring Sosie Bacon. Is it Sosie? Sosie Bacon, the daughter of the fantastic Mr. Kevin Bacon. I'm actually a little bit hungry for bacon. So let's get straight into this and what I actually thought about it. Or should I... Okay, we'll give you a little bit of insight of what the plot is. Sosie Bacon is a psychiatrist who is visited one day by a patient who claim, who claims that she's actually... She's seen some... Seen some thing or someone or this demon that no one else can see and only she can see and has been following around at her and just smiling she's been told in a week that she will die yeah, that kind of actually sounds like a few other movies but we'll get to that now in a moment she ends up killing herself in front of Sosie in front of Sosie <laughs> Woo. she ends up killing herself uh, in front of her and then the course is passed on to the psychiatrist played by Sosie I'm gonna pause She ends up killing herself in front of Rosie, psychiatrist played by Sosie, and the course is then passed on to her. Lots of strange horror things happen. She starts seeing these de this demon vision as different people smiling all the time at her. She begins to go crazy. No one else believes her. And then she goes on this investigative manhunt to try and find out if other people who have seen suicides and then committed suicide afterwards so she can kind of narrow it down what the fuck is going on so that's basically the plot you might be thinking right now i've seen some movies like that and you may be well correct before we get into any negatives i think sozie's actually a really really good actor and um, she really plays the part really well and the eeriness is really done uh superbly as well the musical score behind it adds that kind of really grungy atmosphere to it. And it really works really well for what it wants to achieve with that eeriness. And that being said, it's a decent horror. It's a bit of an underwhelming horror. And it offers nothing, absolutely nothing new to the genre. Um, and that's really unfortunate because I was so looking forward to this. The whole, uh, the marketing was great with the smiling at the football game. Um... Uh, Everything around it just it was marketed really well, um, and then you hear some reviews and some reviews are saying it's great and it's okay. Uh, generally, it's just okay. Um, it basically it follows meets the ring meets the grudge. Yeah, it's it's all of these kind of coursing movies kind of like linked into one. The person that's following her all the time that only she can see. That's the ring. Oh, that's that's just, it follows. The seven days, that, that's the ring. The course that is passed on to everyone after death, that's the grudge. Um, and I kind of maybe want to watch the original of all this. Um, guessing that that wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't the plan, lads. But it was, it is good. Good for me, but it's okay. Let's say. It's, it's okay. It's not great. Um, the ending becomes a little bit stupid. Um, the ending doesn't befit. The rest of the movie or what it's trying to do in my opinion and one thing that kind of bothered me as well uh, was that they are really really pushing the mental health aspect of this and the trauma and how people smile through trauma and it's like okay we get it people smile through trauma it's uh, it's not a new premise been been done in the film but this is really shoved down your throat because it's based in a in a mental institution and then we have a psychiatrist who deals with patients with mental health and it deals with suicide. It's nothing new in terms of the metaphors and the symbolisms and the real meaning in life. None of that is new. And then the horror genre of it again, is nothing is new. It offers absolutely zero to something we haven't seen, except it takes everything you've seen. And a lot of horror films, jump, jump, scare, bang, jump, jump, scare, bang. And it's just kind of like, eh? And you're waiting for it. And at the end, and I began to laugh because it becomes very CGI heavy. 
Um, not that a CGI is bad, but it's just so CGI heavy and it becomes a bit stupid. There's a couple of real creepy bits, and I wouldn't say scary bits, I wasn't once scared. And I know there's lots of clickbaits of people saying, people left the cinema and all, okay, suck me dick. Um, but it's okay. I probably, I'm, I'm stuck between a rating, two and a half stars out of five or three and a half or three stars out of five. I'm really stuck. It's definitely not going to be a film I'll watch more than two times. I'll probably watch it one more time and then be kind of like, eh. Like I've watched It Follows a good few times, um, but this is definitely not one of them. Please like, subscribe, and next we're going to be talking bodies, bodies, 